Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chaz and welcome back to 8-Bit Chaz, the segment on this channel where I review games, you know. I do a lot of reviews on this channel, don't I? I review movies, TV shows, you know, sometimes uh, musical albums by artists that I like and also games, you know. And these uh, game reviews, they take a little while to happen because I usually play an entire game first. I, I only review the games that I have a whole entire playlist for, you know, and today's review is going to be about Rise, Son of Rome, you know, something that I finished recently. And fun fact for you guys, uh, at the time of recording this video, I have completely finished the game and I do mean completely. I unlocked the very last achievement in that game, the multiplayer one for reaching rank 200. You know, it was a long grind, guys. Oh my God, it was such a long grind. I am so tired. I'm really, really exhausted. That achievement took so long. You know, and I grinded, I grinded, like I finished recording the gameplays and I just went straight to it, you know, it took me about a, a couple of days, you know, listening to the entire discography of Linkin Park, my favorite rock band, you know, and uh, I have an Xbox One, so those of you who have Xboxes know about the system for achievements, you know, where you can do certain things in a game and unlock certain achievements, you know, so I 100% to that game, I have every single achievement, and I was able to finally delete it from my Xbox One, you know, to give myself room. To download new games and it's very symbolic because I am an achievement hunter always have been since the Xbox 360 so I love getting 100% in games you know and this one was really symbolic because Rise Son of Rome was one of the first games that I ever downloaded when I got my Xbox One way back in 2018. There's even a video of me unboxing it here if you want to go check it out later and it was really cool because in my opinion it's like uh, I don't know, it, it, because it took me so long, it, it's years of playing the game, coming back to it, stopping, coming back, stopping, coming back, you know, until I was finally able to, whoa, the lighting might change a little bit because I think the sun uh, went behind a cloud there. But so in my opinion, it, it's a really good game and I actually finished with 15 million XP, you know, and uh, okay, it is getting really dark. Let me turn on my light here. All right, not sure if it's gonna make too much of a difference, but I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna try to fix this in post. But anyway, so I finished the game with uh, just about. Actually, no, I think I either I don't remember now, but I I either almost hit or surpassed by a little bit 15 million xp yes 15 million and believe it or not that still didn't put me in the leaderboard you know it's i i didn't even make the first 10,000 players in the leaderboard so somebody is a little more addicted to, to, to the game than i am but anyway yeah it felt really good to finish it you know i hope you guys enjoyed uh, the series the playlist you know and now i'm going to be coming here to review the game as i always do as i always do now Let's talk a little bit about the game itself. In my opinion, it is a lot of fun, you know? Ever since I was a kid, I was kind of fascinated, maybe that's not the right term, interested. I always had a certain interest in Roman mythology, you know? I really liked uh, the, the whole mythology of Hercules and Zeus, you know, all the Greek gods and all of that. So I think it, it was really nice to, and also Roman mythology, although they are similar, the gods are the same, you know, but they also kind of, uh, you know, they, they, they just changed the names. You know, I talked about that in the in this video here, talking about Jupiter, the most powerful god in Roman mythology. So basically, it, it always like really intrigued me to a certain degree, you know? So getting to play a game, and it was the first time I ever played a game like this, not counting God of War, which is Greek, you know? But something really centered, you know, back in Roman history, you know, which I think was really cool. The attention to detail was awesome. The period accurate combat skills, the mechanics and the storyline, you know? Everything was really cool. Now, in terms of the gameplay itself, it's very simple to pick up and play, you know, it's very, very solid. I think that the controls were really, really just well put out, you know, it's really... I mean, the, my favorite part about the game is, of course, the executions. I did plenty of those in my playlist, you know. It's when you can, uh, you attack an enemy enough times where there's going to be a skull above his head and then you can execute him, you know. Kind of like Gears of War style, finish him off, you know. Although in Gears of War, you can execute at any moment, but that's beside the point. What I'm saying is that the executions are very, very creative, you know. They have different ones. If And even though, like, you can't, it's like... Like there is a limited number of executions. So there is there comes a point when when you play the game as much as I have, you've already done all of them, you've seen all of them, you know, uh, many, many times. It's really, really, uh, but it still doesn't get boring. It doesn't get stale because the executions are always so visceral and brutal, you know. This is one of the most violent games I have ever played in my life. You know, it's not the most violent because that definitely goes to Doom Eternal, but it is definitely one of the most violent games I've ever played, you know, bar none. It is really, really gut-wrenching, 
visceral, the brutality is raw, there's blood everywhere, you know, you can freaking slice up your, the guys with your sword, you know, it's really cool. It's a very brutal tastic game and I love it a lot. And even though, like, I can't, sometimes I would play just for fun, you know, like, uh, without recording gameplays, but other times I would come to get some achievements, you know, multiplayer. I, I beat the single player campaign on the hardest difficulty, that's how, that's how uh, addicted I was to it. And I don't usually like hard games, by the way. I talked about that a long time ago, too. But I don't know, guys. I think it's a very entertaining game. Even if you're not a fan of Roman mythology, I think it's really cool. I think it's a really good game to play because what gamer doesn't want to go around hacking and slashing enemies with a sword, you know? You can stab them and slice them open in a bunch of creative ways. You can slice off limbs, you know? We're talking about slicing off arms, legs, you know, and shoving the sword through their necks, you know? It's a... I'm surprised there wasn't one where you can decapitate the enemies and that, that probably would have been a bit too brutal. But it kind of reminds me back in the old days of Conan, uh, the, the old Conan the Barbarian game for the Xbox 360. That was really fun too, you know, very reminiscent of that style. But I think that the game was really well made, you know, and it, it, I don't think that there's ever going to be a sequel, you know, because th this one came out in 2013. I think it, well, then again, when it comes to gaming, it's never too late for a sequel, is there? But if they make a new one, I don't know what story they're going to tell. But I would definitely be down for a sequel, you know, because the first one was really awesome. And it was actually an Xbox One launch title. And it aged surprisingly well, in my opinion. It looks better than certain AAA games today, you know, like NBA 2K21. Oh, God, NBA. 2k21 the cringe there but anyway so well what else can i say ah yes the single player campaign it is it's not that long you know it's relatively short compared to most games that i play i was actually considering doing a whole playthrough of the campaign uh, for this channel you know would have taken much longer would have been a lot more work and in each video would have been very long so i'm glad that i decided to do the playlist the way that i did with all of the multiplayer maps and stuff but the campaign was really robust you know even though it was short it was very enjoyable there was a deep story there you know you, you play as a uh, marius trying to uh, defend uh, the might of rome his family you know his family was slaughtered you know so and then the, bar the barbarians are basically uh, the, the main enemy in the game, you know. It's been a long time since I played the campaign, so certain details elude me. But I do know that there's like this really big, uh, there's a much bigger conspiracy of sorts, let's say, uh, for the enemies trying to conspire against Rome and overtake them and dethrone uh, Nero, I think his name is. I don't think it was Nero. Uh, the emperor probably was, I don't remember. But you do eventually have to, spoilers uh, ahead, you have to actually... Uh, force him to, to die you have to kill him you know even though you actually kind of make him kill himself it's really complicated because there's corruption involved there's a lot of scandals you know so back in the day it was really hard to get into politics because everything was just you know it, it was crazy but it was very period accurate i think that the weapons you know the characters the the way they spoke the the set pieces everything was just done very accurately you know i don't think historians can pick apart this game you know i really don't think they can because it was really true to form if you understand anything about roman mythology so in my opinion it's a really good game you know and if i had to give it a rating i would of course give it a 10 out of 10 i'm, I'm gonna get the rating off early i still have more stuff to say but i want to get the rating done already early so i can move on now, this game to me is pretty much flawless, you know, it's really cool, the execution. Now, if it was made today, if you made, for example, a Rise Son of Rome and released it in 2021 for the Xbox Series X, you know, it would obviously look much better. And I think that if there ever is a sequel in the future, it will be an exclusive title for the Xbox Series X going forward, you know. I unfortunately don't think they will port it to the Xbox One, and even if they do, the graphics are going to suck. I'm sure about that. Like certain games just, a lot of games age very well, you know, for uh, in the Xbox One, but like, I don't know, I can still play certain Xbox 360 games, like the Gears of War games, and they still look really good on the Xbox One, but that's not the case with uh, all of them, you know, but... When it comes to Rise, I mean, I can imagine like if they ever remaster it, for example, for the Xbox Series X, it would look amazing because it does have a few bugs. You know, it was a launch title. So if you guys watch any of my gameplays or of the actual game in general in the channel, you can see that there are a few little bugs, you know, not a lot of glitches, but I don't know, the, the animations are a little wonky at times. Like the sword goes through a guy, like you stab a guy through the stomach, but then uh, the sword, like, I don't know, slides into his chest or something, you know, that kind of thing or you're gonna smack a guy with your shield and he kind of he goes flying but then stops like there's an invisible barrier then he falls you know so i'm a little nitpicky when it comes to this kind of thing but to me it did not um do anything negative to the experience i think it was still a really awesome game so it didn't impact it in any way you know in my opinion it, it wasn't impacted in any way in that particular sense 
So then after that, you know, I had to go into the multiplayer playlist, you know, the game online is actually pretty okay, but it lags a lot, you know, but maybe that's just my internet connection. A lot of people don't play this game online anymore unless they're trying to go for achievements, which is what I did. And I, it, it felt really good to grind those achievements. I, I like games where getting all of the achievements are possible, they're feasible, not like Gears of War where they start doing those seriously 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 crap where it's like you gotta do a bunch of impossible things to get the achievement, you know? I like games where it's actually feasible to get to 100%, you know, and Rise Son of Rome is one of those. Another notable example is uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine back on Xbox 360. Very good game to get achievements in, you know. They give you some collectibles, you know, so you have to play it multiple times to get all of them. So it's nice, you know, it's nice to have a, a differentiated challenge every now and again. So it felt good to get all the achievements in this game. And I think that the combat system was really well redefined, you know, it was really, really awesome. It was addictive, you know, it's very, you know, the kind of thing where it's just pick up and play, you know, it's not complicated to learn. So I think that the game did really well in all departments. You know, the soundtrack, you know, if you guys saw uh, certain videos on my channel, you can see that in the menu, there's a collectibles tab where you can see all of the things that I got. So there's concept art, there's uh, there, there are comic strips, you know, there's there are music soundtracks. There's a lot of really cool stuff, you know. I was considering doing an entire video just showing off all of the collectibles in detail, but I didn't, I wouldn't have that, the patience to do that, you know. So yeah, man, but it's a really good game. I love it so much. And if you guys happen to have an Xbox One, you can still play it right now. If you sign up for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can just download the game and play it for free. It's really really cool and I don't think that it's been on Xbox Game Pass since like the day I got on Xbox one So I don't think they're ever gonna remove it anytime soon, but yeah, man, you know I think that's all I can say about it really nice game, you know nice pulse pounding ass kicking awesome brutality You know one of the best games I ever played and that's really saying a lot, you know And that has been it for today's uh, game review 8-bit Chaz, you know these reviews are starting to get a lot shorter They're not really that fancy like in my movie and TV reviews I put in clips and stuff of the movies and TV shows But with games I don't really need to because they usually come after a long playlist of the game itself So I think that adding clips of the game here would just be over overkill you know so I'm just gonna these uh, reviews are kind of like vlogs you know where I just talk about the game you know what I thought about it and that's the way I enjoy it so I hope you guys like it you know and if you play the game you know drop a comment letting me know what you thought about it. and if you haven't it's never too late to start you know and that's it please subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video uh, go to my playlist 8-bit chats to see other game reviews that I have of other games that I played each game that I play corresponds to a full playlist elsewhere on my channel so you guys can go check that out too and if you happen to like my content after subscribing hit that notification bell so you can always know when i'm gonna uh, upload something new and that's it guys <laughs> this is chazzy signing out for now and as always i'll see you guys in the next video